Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Free American Hour. I'm your host, Clay Douglas. And my guest today is John Kaminsky, writer extraordinaire. You know, John, you're one of the few people out there, every time I read, get one of your articles, I go, you know, how do you know what I was thinking? <laughs> I appreciate that, Clayton. Uh... It's been uh, it's been a wonderful privilege to write all this stuff in a lot of ways. Met a lot of wonderful people, um, and it seems like more and more every day uh, we're running across people who are hip to what's going on. The trouble is that hasn't trans translated to our government yet, and our government is still in the total capture of these Jewish banker types who have just about already plundered the country and are busy taking the rest of it with one crisis after another and we're just sitting here, our heads are spinning, we don't know what's going on, we know we don't have a democracy, we know they're inventing money to keep us going uh, and we can't see the future and that's not good. You know, I... I over uh, oh, 1994, when I started Free American, I talked about the one world government, and, and you know I've been reporting on it ever since. And it doesn't get better because uh, it, it's, it's following a plan. They, they, they've got a plan, and I, I feel like I've been blessed to be able to see that plan. And you know, things that I wrote about eight years ago, things that I talked about on my radio show eight years ago is happening right now. Now now you can uh, you can go to mainstream media and see at least a portion of what I talked about then. Right. And, and one of the things I want to talk about, you know, I, I, I've, everybody know just about to listen to me knows, everybody that's, that's bought my book, Mystery Babylon, knows what happened to me. I, what I, over the last six years, I, I've been targeted, I've been, they've tried to kill me, they've had people, you know, show up to give me injections, and uh, I thought it was about the 9-11. I, th I had just come out, there was a number of factors here, I just come out with the video, True Face of FEMA, where I filmed the first Homeland Security meeting. And what they had to say was scary about needing 400,000 troops to control the American people in case of a single outbreak of smallpox. And then, of course, we had the bird flu pop up. And uh, I don't think it was... I don't think it was that anymore. I thought, you know, I, I had nine, Building Number 7 on the cover of the last issue that I was able to publish before the accident. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I thought it was about. But I don't think that anymore. I think, and I now believe that they tried to kill me because I was advertising and promoting <coughs> the Liberty Village concept. And the Liberty Village concept, very simple. If you can, if you can put together a wind generator in your garage, put it on your roof, and and turn your backyard or your little five acres or ten acres into uh, an organic garden. What do you need the banksters for? What do you need the government for? You need room for a cow. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that would be. Uh, there would be a Liberty Village over here that we put on a ranch where you're raising range-fed beef. And there would be a Liberty Village over here where you're raising a good tomatoes. Have you had any testimonials from people who've signed on to this thing? Nobody, nobody has signed on to it as far as I know. I've had the website up, libertyvillage.org. You know, John, it, 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 it's strange. When I was publishing the hard copy magazine, I had I had employees. Vincent worked for me. I I was selling books, and the phone rang all day long. Today, the phone doesn't ring. I don't get any donations. I don't get no, any a, orders. It's a different it's a different world out there. It's uh it's all it's all degenerated into soundbite and to 
uh, event that catches people's fancy, like the uh, like the Koran burning. That went worldwide in a, in, a, in 12 hours. Uh, it's all about staged events and uh, little bits that you can get into people. But the, the frightening thing about all of this is that people are so fragmented and so misled that to try to put together some coherent movement that somehow restores some level of honesty to the American government, um, it's impossible at this point, uh, not just because of the infiltration that occurs by people who don't want it to happen, but just by the general fragmentation of people who are just much more concerned with their local, their local atmosphere than they are with the uh, with with the big picture. They they you know they express an opinion about it. They're willing to go along with anything, which has been proven time and again. And now we're in the situation where we have no control over anything, least of all our elected officials, and we're all powerless as to what to do because not enough people will focus on the core issue for a long enough period of time. And, Does that and, make sense? And, yes, yeah, and, and I've also noticed, I, I, I was on, I did somebody else's show, it didn't work out too well, it didn't uh, record, but he had one central issue that he wanted to talk about, and, and uh -huh. we didn't talk about anything that I've done. We didn't talk about my films, we didn't talk about Liberty Village, we didn't talk about anything. He wanted to hear about Bill Cooper and Planet X. Now, I was one of the first magazines to talk about Planet X. I had people on that have written books about it, they studied it, and, and I talked about it. But, I don't focus on it. I don't do it every day. And, and you know, to me, my strength is I, I understand what's happening with the illegals. I understand what's happening with the banking system. If Planet X is coming, well, there ain't a lot we can do about that. And, and to sit around and worry about whether a, a an asteroid is going to strike Earth doesn't strike me as being productive. No, it's just one of those things that kind of trap you in, uh, in doing because they like all those other activities because it keeps you from focusing on what the real problem is, and that's why they invent all these things. And, uh, and uh, the, you know, the... the Real, this really gets me, John. I mean, the last thing, President Bush, we've been talking about Bush and what, what you know, 9-11, the, the homeland security. Uh, and, and the last thing he does as he's walking out the door is give away $2 trillion to the owners of the Federal Reserve. We bailed out the banks with enough money to pay off every mortgage in the country. We could have paid off every American's mortgage. We could, you could be living in the, in your home now, you know, at at no cost. And and he gave it away. He gave it away. Your grandchildren will never pay the interest on that two trillion dollars, much less the other ten that uh, uh, our government has spent. That I think was, it's taken me sixty-five years to learn that the government is not for the people. <laughs> uh, the government is for its operators who fleece to the level of what they can get away with. And they're, like, they're way beyond that now, but it's like nobody notices because, well, they're starting to notice. When you lose your house, you'll start to notice. Um, but that's not their purpose. It's like Homeland Security wasn't invented to streamline the functions of the federal government. Homeland Security was invented to protect the predator class and basically imprison the prey class, which is us. What, I, what I've said for the last uh, eight years is that the war on terror is a war against anyone, anywhere that wants to... Uh, that opposes 